Now, the US presidential hopeful Donald Trump is the subject of our uh, next conversation. He caused an outcry earlier this week after being caught making remarks about groping women. The offensive comments were on a 2005 video that was released this week. Let's take a look at what he said and please bear in mind that you very well may find some of this offensive. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the <laughs> I can do anything. But this was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. Right. So are Donald Trump's words a relic of a bygone era? Or do they lift the lid on how many men and perhaps women actually talk about the opposite sex behind uh, closed doors? It's, uh, it's quite extraordinary, Kate, isn't it? It is, and I think it's very important that I jump straight in and, and challenge this idea of locker room banter that comes up. Th th there are things that women say about men and that men say about women that we don't really intend anybody else to hear. And it's absolutely, you know, th there's absolutely an issue about when somebody, and I'll, I'll use sort of TV-friendly language, when a guy says something like, you know, she's got a great body, I would love to do X, Y, Z to her. Well, obviously, that sort of language wouldn't be appropriate in the workplace. It's not appropriate in front of people who are uncomfortable with that language. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're not talking about somebody saying what they'd like to do. That kind of, We're talking about somebody saying that they actively would physically assault someone without their consent and that is no, not a didn't. question he, of banter. He actually talked about consent and said that they said no so therefore he failed and he used the words fail. No, no, no. He says so he, he didn't he, force no, himself said, upon anyone. He said he, said, he said he just goes and grabs them and that is a criminal offence. Yeah. That is sexual assault well, and that is nothing to do with banter. If you hear that, that's not banter. That's a crime being talked okay. about like, and I like, think we should be very clear about that. Like, Tina, we've, we've brought you in from, uh, from the States this evening. You're a, you're a big Trump supporter but you start to wonder when he says Blanquita locker room talk does he really think that lots of decent men talk about that in the in the locker room oh the locker room I don't know I've never been in a locker room and I think the language was bad but you know what I thought was very interesting Stephen if you watch that debate there were four women there there was Juanita Broderick there was Kathleen Willey there was a number of things, Paula Jones, and the other person, the very important person that you need to know her name, was Kathy Shelton. We don't now, need to remember, know any of their names because we don't know oh, who they are. Oh, oh, Let's oh, cut to the point. Would you, the would po you let me make my point? I didn't interrupt you. Yeah, but the point because is... it's not. The point is what he said was bad, but what she did, what Hillary Clinton did was bad with Catholic, Kathy Shelton. Because when Kathy Shelton was 12 years old, she was a young girl who was raped. She, her, the prosecutor that went after her was a woman by the name right, of okay. Hillary Clinton. Blanquita, this who this means went no, on this, record, this is not where we're going laughed, with this tonight. What I want to... laughed Blanquita, when she was... Blanquita, Kira, let off. me, you know the score. Let me, let me anchor this tonight. What I want you to talk to me about is whether many American men and men anywhere in the world actually think that it's, that it's the way we speak. That's the way we speak when we say, if I'm powerful, I can do whatever I want. Is that acceptable? I well, I think, you know, again, I look at those women, those women who were the victims. They were victims of a powerful man. They couldn't say anything because they were so powerful. It happens all the time that you see that. It's not right. But it's a difference between actually saying words and doing. The word, women who were there had been accosted, had been assaulted. One had been You're raped. Point again, so I think You're that's, it well, it's very critical. To to it's critical. It's critical. Look, what Donald Trump said, you know, actively saying that he's going to go around grabbing women by body parts and all of that. Look, I've got a daughter, I've got a sister, I've got a mother, and I've got a missus. And if he said that about any of them, I'd probably want to react like Robert De Niro did. But why? Hold I, on a minute. I want to punch no. him on the nose. We don't, we don't defend Robert women because De Niro. they might be related Robert to you. You don't My own these women. Goodness. We shouldn't not assault women because they might be your relatives, Martin. We shouldn't assault women because women are human beings, for crying out loud. I just you agree with that. You cannot no, no. see their humanity for itself if you can only identify them as women because they somehow belong to you. No, no, that, that is as sexist as no, the nonsense no. that Trump comes out with and you look, should be look, ashamed of no, yourself. Look, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, 
If that was said, of course, it's abhorrent. Nobody advocates violence against women. What moron is going to de defend what Donald Trump said? Nobody. However, let's move this what away Trump into the way men talk when they are in single-sex groups. If I can talk, and, and I got a cab over here. Hold on, Blinken. Stop. Stop talking. This is sexist. You're starting to pull my head in. Stop. Go on, Martin. I got a taxi over here tonight. I said to all the cabbies, three cabbies, went, what's it like? Are the women as bad as the women or just as bad in, in Belfast when they've had a few drinks? What they talk about, um, how, how in single sex groups, men do talk differently when, when we're in single sex groups. Locker room banter is a thing. I think there is a code of kind of um, loyalty well, amongst you know, men. Had, but we, you know, what he yeah, said yeah, was grotesque. Format. But there, 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 you can't say what that. Do you, think? You, that think, all... you think that women banter about what they can do to men? Yeah. If they're so powerful, they can exploit men. I, I don't know about stuff. that, but if, 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 if you overhear like a hen party at a bar, as I did at the city airport on the way out, you know, you know, <laughs> it goes on. I think we need to get out of this, 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 this quite frankly you know, sexist and deluded yeah. nonsense that, that men are predatory, Steve. sexist, rapists in waiting, and women are all innocent and pretty. All of us, you know, say things when we're in single sex so groups words, that we might not want to go in, public in, like this. We would probably sink every single person in this audience. In other words, Let's be yeah. honest. Think about, well, think I've about never made jokes some... about raping any man. Maybe right. I'm one of those weirdos. Maybe I I'm not a all right, real right, woman. Right, but 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 obviously, obviously um, rape is at the abhorrent extreme. And there's nobody that would even remotely try to defend it. But what we're talking well, about what? is Look, what we're talking about. Like Kira, shush, shush. What we're talking about is this: we are talking about if a woman went up in a nightclub and felt the guy's bum. That happens mm -hmm. often enough. Mm. Yeah. Is that any less s lack of respect? Um, what? Well, she absolutely for, shouldn't be doing it. Is that you, assault? You, you, no, well, of, co of course, if she's rushing up to somebody and grab anyone you grab without their permission, yeah, that is a form of assault. When a, of woman, it is. When a yeah. woman says, Oh, here, I'd like to see under your kilt, is, oh, that, well, is that friendly banter or is that all right because it's a man? No, 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 of course, it's rude and it's not acceptable in, in the wrong circumstance if it's not people that you know and not people that you're sure are comfortable with that sort of language. But I think there's quite a big difference between somebody making a joke, somebody doing that sort of like maybe flirting, being a bit too far forward. And I think, I, I think it's disappointing to imagine that, that men in our society or indeed women or anybody doesn't know the difference between a bit of flirting and sexual assault and justifying well, sexual they do. assault. Uh, the, and, the um, well, quite majority clearly of people you don't, do. Martin, of course I do. Because we've understood that from your comments already. Not at all. Um, I'm saying what you said was is... ludicrous and, and grotesque. <laughs> you know, you cannot say... That, that to, to, to say that male banter or female banter is OK is to advocate sexual violence. That's but preposterous. But what I said right at the top is that what Trump is saying is not banter. It's something completely different to banter. What he's doing is advocating, and indeed, to, to a large extent, admitting that he openly commits a crime. Do, 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 do you know what, what, what I issue. think? It's got that's nothing to do with banter. What I think, what I think Trump absolutely did there... He's not false. said he's admitted to a crime. No. That's and indeed, indeed in what he said was, he said he failed. You're still there. Why Grabbing feel, someone by the genitals without right. their permission so is sad. definitely okay. a crime. Okay, Blanquita. Here in America, okay. Okay. in most Blanquita, places. I need to make this quick for me. Go ahead. I, I would like to say what's so sad is that we've come to a time when people can't just like each other. You know, that men and women, remember the old days when men used to open doors for women and women would say thank you? Yeah, now we've tried to be some so strong and so equal that we've forgotten how to be nice to each other. What he said was wrong. He apologized and that was right. It was ugly. But if you're talking about, I've not been to Belfast, I'd like to go to Belfast. But in a bar, you know, why can't you flirt with a guy and why can't a, a, a girl flirt with a man? Well, and it's the hard for you to go We've forgotten to how to get along with each other. Go ahead. Stephen. We've forgotten how to be nice to yeah. each other. All right. She's still talking. <laughs> <laughs> Ste Stephen, yeah, those remarks that. were made we, 11 we years ago, I'm sure, 2005. Yeah. Because he was a young, immature 59-year-old no. 11 yeah. years ago. <laughs> Firstly, he wasn't an elected politician, he was a high-flying businessman. He made flippant remarks in private that he thought, and your lady friend beside you has exaggerated, and the, the, and the whole of America and the world is, is over the story like a rash. What they haven't really got over like a rash was, more recently, publicly, on a platform, he, you to hurry up for he me, exaggerated, he threatened that if he got into power, that he would ban an entire religion. Mm -hmm from entering his country. Mm. That story just seemed fizzled away like the...
Okay. Okay. Snows of last okay. winter. Lady here in the glasses, go ahead. Yeah, other I, horrific things do you about not women think some are, are too sensitive? I mean, I, I agree with you. When the two sexes get together, you know, no, sorry, you know, when, when a group of girls and a group of men get together, they would say things that they wouldn't say in mixed company. Okay, thank you. And Lady here, you have 20 seconds. Go. <laughs> If there are people, men or women, who refuse to admit the cultural harm of comments like Trump has made, how far would people need to go for them to actually be offended? Do you need to say the word rape, rape of someone that you know, someone specific? I Is know, that like how Juanita far you would Broderick. need to go? Yeah, exactly. Juanita Broderick. Exactly, and this idea that it was... <laughs> 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 That's almost it for this week. We'll continue the discussion on the radio. But ladies and gentlemen, taking us, out, taking us out tonight, we're so proud of our local singer, Janet Devlin. She's got a new single. It's called Outer Net Song. Please welcome.